Police in Sacramento say they're still searching for multiple suspects after the city's deadliest mass shooting ever recorded. Six people died, a dozen others hurt, after a barrage of bullets tore through a crowded street. This video appears to show the shooting happening early on Sunday morning. Police arrested one person related to the massacre just today. He's facing charges of assault with a deadly weapon and illegal possession of a gun. Today, the coroner also released the names of all the victims, those who died, the three men and three women ranging from age 21 to 57. CBC special correspondent Scott Cohn live at the scene of the shooting for us tonight. Scott. Shep, uh, police here in Sacramento say they have arrested 26-year-old Dondre Martin. We have a picture of him from a previous arrest in Arizona in 2018. The arrest here on firearms and assault charges. It is not clear, though, what role, if any, he played in the attack. And police have said that there were multiple shooters. In fact, the real key to explaining what happened here at the corner of 10th and K may be above us. That police surveillance camera up there, uh, which they do say did record some images of the attack on in the wee hours of yesterday morning. Uh, those images not yet made public, but the images from here on the ground that are public, those are downright chilling. Just after closing time in the heart of Sacramento's entertainment district, first a fight, which may or may not be related, then... The gunfire continuing for nearly a minute. When it was over, six dead, including Pamela Harris's son, Sergio, a father just 38 years old. He has two young daughters that love him dearly, and he loved them. They're not going to see their father anymore, all because of somebody doing some senseless shooting. Another 12 people were injured, police say, some critically. It is the worst mass shooting in this city's history. We've recovered well over 100 casings from the scene. Um, so uh, we know that there were a lot of shots fired that night, and um, hence the complexity of the investigation. Trying to piece together what happened in a crime scene that spans several blocks, police have appealed to the public for help. They say more than 100 tips, pictures, and pieces of video have come in. But none of it answers the larger questions. In a city that prides itself on community outreach and a state with the toughest gun laws in the nation. This sickness will be cured someday in this country or we will destroy ourselves in this country as we do in too many communities on too many occasions over too many years. Those uh, gun laws here in California include a ban on high-capacity magazines uh, and universal background checks. They weren't enough not only to stop this mass shooting, but another shooting here in Sacramento in February that left five people dead, including the gunman, and that shooting in San Jose last year at a rail yard that left 10 people dead. California Governor Gavin Newsom issued a statement yesterday uh, saying that the scourge of gun violence is a crisis, something that we all need to resolve. Shep?